at 719, millions of Americans are about to get a federally mandated raise. But will it help or hurt the economy? This Friday, the federal minimum wage will increase from 655 an hour to seven and a quarter per hour. For workers in Florida, the increase will amount to a four cent raise. CPA Howard Tavor can hear this morning to tell us who the winners and the losers are in this wage hike in this segment sponsored by Consolidated Credit Counseling Services. Good morning. Good morning. How Looking are you? Good this morning. Thank you. You uh, too. Thank you. I'm fantastic. But okay, so this is a final wage hike in a three-step process uh, passed by Congress a couple years ago. Four cents for Florida. Who are the winners and losers it's here? It's not that much, but frankly, what you have is people that are barely over the poverty level. Four cents a minute or four cents an hour is not a lot of money, but what you it has a lot of implications nationally because it's really almost a 10% hike on 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 the on the minimum wage so what we're talking about is the cost of goods are going going to go up because the labor is going to cost more also the economy is teetering so there's a lot of problems going on right now in the economy and this is just going to add to it and the third thing is that businesses may not be in good shape and may cut back hours or may even fail because of it. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because with businesses shelling out more cash, I mean, layoffs are at an all-time high. I read an article, uh, high of 26 years. In 26 years, shelling out more cash, is this going to be more layoffs? Well, it could be. And you don't know, but chances are there will be more layoffs down the road. What it's it's a bad time to roll this out, and Congress may have should have thought about this and maybe put a hold on this until the economy improves. It sounds good on the surface, people getting a raise, and let's let's face it, these people are not living large on 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 a four cent raise or even on seven dollars and twenty five cents because Florida has its own minimum rate uh, minimum wage uh -huh. and federally they have their minimum wage and depending on the state employers have to pay the higher of the two so people aren't going to get the boost in Florida but it may end up costing them elsewhere where it wouldn't if this wasn't impl uh, implemented Oh, okay. So if there's a lot of college students maybe looking for summer jobs right now, and frankly, I mean, you've seen the job fairs. Everybody's looking for a job right now. So is this increase going to help or hurt their chances? What's it's the going to hurt their chances. Unfortunately, people are going to sit there and take a second look. Do we really need to hire that high school kid? Or more importantly, in fast food businesses, we see uh, there may be... A, 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 a reduction in labor and overall to save money employers may end up taking taking and reducing hours available for people to work at this looks on the surface as a great thing for consumers but when you look at the, the the implications it could be a devastating impact to our economy yeah, earlier in the, in the morning, we were talking about how the recession may be coming to an end in 2010. In your practice, you know, you counsel a lot of people getting their credit back on track. What do you, where do you see it going right now? I see probably three to five years more problems going on in this country. And we may come out of it towards the end of this year, but it's going to be a very, very slow journey to prosperity again. America went through some great times and this is a cyclical time in our our economy and sometimes the economy goes up and sometimes it goes down but the reality is people need to make sure that they're focused on the right things and conserve their cash for the future so this we knew this wage increase was coming it's the the third step in the boost passed by congress a couple years ago so critics are saying the timing is really awkward when would have been you know, can you comment on when would be good timing? I mean, when, Three the, to five years, you when say. the economy is doing well, employers can handle an increase. Maybe not a 10% increase, maybe a 5% increase. This is a problem and could have devastating impacts nationally. Not so much in Florida, because Florida is one of those states that has a higher minimum wage than the national, the federal minimum wage. But it is a problem and it could have some devastating impacts to our economy, the cost of goods, and, and frankly, a reduction in labor overall. Do you think the key is, you've mentioned this before, is saving still? 
Do you, do you believe that people can save? I mean, how do you start saving if you think you have no room to spare? Everybody can save. I mean, there are so many cuts that people can make in their budgets on a daily basis. Just look at what you're spending and think about it. People need to think about what they spend money on. And if they take the time and the energy to do that, they will be fine because they will find at least 10% of their budget can be reduced. I like when you talk about saving because it encourages me. I'm still <laughs> trying to do it, Howard. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. All righty. You can learn more about Howard and his services on SouthFlorida.com money. Howard has great tips on how to clean up your credit score as well. Go there.